right, welcome back to the channel. This is Model Rocks 321. Today, this is going to be a quick, quick video. Just going to talk about a couple lunar type rockets, vintage looking 1940s, 1950s style design rockets. I really like those. Um, just something different. You don't see a lot of them. I know there's the Luna One, that's one that's a famous one. I'm not sure what movies they're from, but they had that they have that old school design. As you can see right there, that's one. And here's another one. And then you have the Silver Comet by Estes. These other two were built by a man, man by the name of Roger Cozy. He had a company. Um, these were his kits, actually. And I acquired them. Um, super glad to have them. Rest in peace to Roger Cozy. Um, but he built these rockets, I believe. I don't think they were kits. They could be, but I'm not sure. I think he was pl planning on manufacturing these and putting them out. Um, I just want to take a look at a couple of them with you guys right now. This one flies on a 13 millimeter motor, has a little parachute inside there. I'm not going to take the top off because I might not be able to get it on with one hand. Um, little launch lug there. Just super, super cool. Got that vintage sci fi look to them, um, like you would see in the old movies, those old black and white films. Um, they have that look to them. This is the Silver Comet by Estes. Um, these are these are around. You can find these once in a while. They're out of production. I think they went out in like probably the mid two thousands or yeah, I think like two thousand three, two thousand four. They were around, if not a little bit earlier. And then there's another one um, with that design of like a vintage sci fi movie, um, moon type lander. You will see them land like this, and you know they open the door and goofy stuff start happening. And those old movies, fun stuff. But yeah, they, this is just great, great design. I love these rockets. Um. 24 millimeter parachuting inside everything like it's weighted right everything seems and he may have flown this oh i don't i can't really tell it may be a little bit of burn marks there he may have flown i know he flew, flew this one i can tell on the inside i can't remember about this and it's been sitting but yeah these are real cool rockets um he went through the nose cone or through the body similar to the way i did the vulcan um instead of having it fly on this angle with the launch lug here I ran the uh, the launch lug through the inside of the body, but just wanted to show these uh, really cool cool designs. I like this style. Um, there's a book by this guy by the name of uh, Jack Haggerty, the Spaceship Handbook, I believe it's called. It has all these type of designs in there. So if you ever want to scratch any scratch build any of these kind of rockets, you can get the, the plans from that book. Um, the book is pretty it's pretty expensive. Once in a while, I used to have it, and I think it's probably it could be cheaper now. It could be a hundred dollar book easily. I mean, it's a lot of knowledge in there, a lot of, like I say, you get plans, you get all these rockets that are pretty, you know, pretty rare that you don't see in kit form, other than like plastic models, but a lot of companies don't manufacture them. But these, like I said, I'm super glad to have these rockets right here. These are, um, these are precious to me. I'm a, these are some of my favorites now, like right up there with my little Joe too. Like Silver Comet's cool, but I'm talking about these two right here, like to me, the special ones. I really like them. Um, I may or may not fly them. I don't know. I'm not planning on flying them anytime soon. I would actually like to build, you know, build another version to fly, but I don't know. I also like the Luna. That's another one. That's a, the one I do know. It's from some old movies. I can't remember the name of these movies. Um, I have to look that up just for my own, you know, curiosity. But yeah, the Luna is one of them. And I actually have plans for the Luna too. There's some plans out there you can find if you look it up online or whatever. But yeah. So I just wanted to share these vintage designs with you. Old school, 40s, what, 30s, 40s, 50s maybe. Old school film days. But yeah, Model Rocks 321, guys. Be sure to <clears throat> hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and check the links. And I am out. Model Rocks 321. At the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise. 